sudah ya yeah. yeah. started the recording sir is, is the skin visible now yes it's visible oh. so sir i'm starting now yeah yeah please oh so uh, can you hide I... the bubble uh, can you hide oh, the okay. bubble please okay sir yeah oh Uh, uh, today I am going to give a presentation on Time Technoplast. Uh, this company is basically in the business of composite and polymer containers and uh, energy storage devices. So uh, this company has divided its product portfolio mainly in uh, mainly in two parts. Uh, uh, that is, one minute. Uh, I am trying to get that. okay. Uh, it has divided uh, divided its product uh, portfolio mainly in, in two parts. One is the established product, and other is the valuated product. So, uh, in in my presentation, I am going to give uh, most of my uh, most of my time uh, on this uh, value added uh, product part because uh, this is the uh, part because uh, because of which we are studying the company, and there are uh, many good triggers in this part. I am going to explain the established product part very briefly uh, because uh, it is of um, it because it is recently uh, some development has occurred in in this line, but it is not of that much uh, significance. So as you can see, uh, this are is various uh, product in the established product line. Uh, it deals with drum, jerry can, uh, uh, HDP pipes, PWC pipe, uh, and fuel tanks and mats. Uh, now. Uh, you can uh, understand uh, why uh, i am more uh, uh, giving more focus on the belu uh, product uh, uh, line by looking at this graph as you can see uh, that sales uh, from 2012 to 23 has grown at a 7% cagr although the uh, stability is quite remarkable like in the last uh, 10 years with the exception of covid there was only one year when there was a slight decrease otherwise the company has been able to maintain a uh, very stable growth rate now uh, this is mainly because of the established product segment you can see that the established product segment has grown by only 5% cagr from 2016 to 2023 uh, and the, uh, from 2022 onwards you can see there has been a slight uh, jump uh, in this established product revenue segment this has mainly occurred because of the uh, because of uh the china plus one model uh and uh, and from uh, 2021 to 2023 the established product uh, segment has grown at 11% cagr now here comes our most important part that is the value added product revenue part now this part has uh, this uh, this uh, portfolio uh, of the company has grown at a 17% cagr as you can see from 2016 to 2017 now uh as of now the company uh, says nearly 80% of its revenue come from the established segment and 20% of the revenue comes from the value added segment as you can see from 2016 to 2023 on, uh, 23 onwards the company is slowly is very slowly trying to reduce its uh, portion of established product uh, uh, as a portion of its total revenue and it and it is increasing its value added product uh, portion Uh, 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 the greater the value added product portion will be uh, to, to the total revenue it, is, it would be better for the company and it will also be better for the ebitda margin similarly you can say that the ebitda margin of the company uh, is uh, uh, is considerably uh, considerably higher for the value added segment while it is uh, uh, is not that high for the uh, established product segment now i move to the most important part the value added segment now uh, there are basically four main products and uh, the first product which i am going to talk about is the lpg cylinder now uh, uh, the, uh, this uh, this lpg cylinder are different from the conventional cylinder which we see because this cylinders are made up of composite material now the benefit of this they are lightweight they are easy to carry and customers uh, can check the lpg level uh, and uh, most importantly they are 100% uh, explosion proof uh, last year uh, the company uh, received its uh, 7.5 lakh uh, uh, units order from iocl for type 4 uh, composite cylinder although it was not the only company supreme industries also received uh, uh, a similar order uh, now uh, um, the company has stated in its con call that uh, the uh, iocl that is the uh, indian oil corporation limited has said that after 12 month it will uh, examine uh, 
uh, about uh, how they were able to sell those cylinder and if it is fruitful then they will again give another order uh, of the same size uh, now the, the company has also get good response from the overseas market at uh, present the company has approval for uh, this uh, product in 50 countries and is exporting to 42 uh, nations the company is also uh, increasing its uh, its uh, production uh, production facility uh, of, uh, for this product and uh, at present uh, time is the second largest uh, producer of composite cylinder uh, followed by a norwegian company which is hexagon Rogasan and in India, uh, uh, Supreme Industries it is, is uh, its is its only competitor, which has a capacity of a uh, uh, five lakh cylinder uh, per uh, of uh, uh, point uh, five mm cylinder per annum. Now the second product is not of that much important importance. It is Mox film. Uh, um, the, uh, uh, for this uh, product, uh, the company, uh, the Supreme uh, Industry is also its competitor. Supreme Industry is also uh, uh, is also in that field. Uh, the main um, potential of this in, of this product is basically in the uh, export market. So this product is of that of not that much of importance. So uh, I am not going to discuss further on this one. Now uh, moving to the CNG casket. This is also an, another important segment for the company. Uh, the company uh, has increased uh, its uh, the CNG casket capacity many times. Currently, it has an order of 260 crore. And uh, due to uh, further more order, the company has again increased its uh, uh, capacity. Uh, now the, uh, the present capex uh, which have they have uh, done they are expecting that uh, by 2023 24 by the end they will be able to manufacture uh, 10080 casket uh, cylinders and uh, uh, the good thing about uh, about this uh, part is that uh, here the company has a, a monopoly here it has no competitor supreme industry is not in this segment now the second uh, the, the, now the Fourth product is the CNG cylinder for automotive sector. That is, uh, it is basically uh, the steel cylinder which was used uh, in uh, CNG cars. Now it has been uh, getting re replaced by the uh, composite CNG uh, by, by the composite CNG cylinder. Uh, currently, the company is in discussion with uh, various uh, OEMs, uh, and they are very much expected. But still, now uh, uh, any order has not been placed regarding it. And uh, the last uh, in, in, uh, another uh, product is the uh, company has very recently uh, get approval from PISO, that is, uh, petro uh, this is Petroleum and Explosive Safety Organization for uh, its composite cylinder for oxygen application. Uh, uh, these cylinders uh, are very useful for firefighters, mountain climbers, and portable oxygen bottles. Uh, still now, uh, this thing does not contribute much to the revenue of the company. And the company has also not uh, told anything much about it. They have seen this is the, uh, in, uh, they have just received the uh, approval for this product. Now, these are some clients of the company. Now, Babs, Hunts, uh, all uh, these are all multinational companies, which you can see. There are also many chemical companies, there are petrochemical companies. And now uh, we have also automobile companies like Tata Motors, Aisha Motors, and Ashok Leland. And we also have some. Uh, like uh, Cargill and Nestle are FMCG companies. Now, uh, this is uh, what I wanted to talk about um, the established growth segment. Now, uh, as you see, uh, from 2021-22, there was an increase in the established product part of the company. This was mainly because of the China plus one factor. And beside this, uh, uh, the company uh, also has uh, uh, talks about this four uh, segments, the package industry, rigid packing, PVC industry, and energy storage industry. The company does not provide what, uh, what is their revenue from that uh, from this segment. But uh, here, uh, uh, yeah, I have presented uh, package industry will be going growing at 26% CAGR for the last uh, for the next five years. Uh, and uh, similarly, the energy storage industry will also grow at 27% CAGR for the next five years. Although digit packing will, will not be grow at such a fast rate and the PVC industry, there is a lot of competition. But uh, from these uh, three elements, uh, 
uh, package industry, PBC industry, and energy storage industry, we can expect that the established product portfolio will grow at a decent rate, at least higher than the uh, than the five percent CAGR, which it grow before the COVID strike. Now, what are the growth triggers of this company? Basically, I have identified four growth triggers of this company. The first is it is a duopoly in the composite LPG cylinder, while Supreme Industries it is it, it is its only competitor. Now, uh, if we uh, talk uh, if we uh, talk about the monopoly uh, uh, in CNG casket, it has a monopoly. The only competition the company faces is because uh, is from a few um, uh, foreign. Uh, foreign players and uh, it is not a significant uh, competition the company has said uh, has said that as it increase its production capacity they will be able to catch those demand from its competitor now the china plus one factor is also very much important as as, as we have seen there has been a uh, significant increase in the established product sector after the covid uh, uh, nine, uh, covid 19 crisis uh, um, uh, covid 19 crisis and uh, uh, China plus one factor will not only help its established product lineup, but will also help its uh, value added product lineup. And uh, uh, the fourth product, which I just mentioned, is the growth in packaging, PVC, and energy storage, will also give a further boost to the company's uh, top and bottom line. Now, uh, I'm uh, I'll be talking about about some potential downsides and risks of the company. Now, the biggest tricks which we can say about the company is related to the LPG cylinder. Now, although we know that the LPG customer uh, uh, in India as of 2022 is around 30 crore, there are LPG uh, cylinders in India. But uh, one thing we should keep in mind is LPG cylinders have very limited utility for the end consumers. Like, uh, although like uh, it is uh, it uh, it is light. But the customer does not have to carry the cylinder from the distribution center to his home. There are uh, delivery boys who carry for them. And uh, and um, another thing is that it is a one-time purchase. As a composite cylinder will have a lifetime of 15 to 20, uh, 15 to 20 years. And um, 15 to 20 years. And um, it is not like FMGC that, that there will be repetitive, repetitive purchase. And the most uh, bad thing, uh, is uh, that the market is more like monopsony that is there is only one buyer that is uh, in this case it is IOS, iocl and um, if the company if iocl uh, uh, likes uh, finds out that uh, uh, the time is making uh, quite a lot profit it can twist its uh, twist its arm by uh, telling it to reduce its price and now as he is the only supply uh, only uh, buyer so these are some of the downsides which can happen in the LPG cylinder. And one thing we should also remember that the, the, there has been no further orders uh, for further orders given by IOCL. After the 7.5 lakh orders given uh, in 2022, uh, there has been no further orders given. So we also have to check that whether uh, IOCL keeps on giving those orders or not. And the second is, is related to the CNG cylinder for automobile sector. I am not uh, talking about that casket. I am talking about the steel cylinders, which are been, which are getting replaced by a uh, CNG uh, uh, composite cylinder. Now, uh, you can see, see, there is a most significant difference between petrol and CNG prices, which would encourage a buyer to change his uh, product to uh, from petrol to uh, his car from petrol to CNG. And another thing, uh, which the companies also say that they are in sort of direct competition with the EV market. Now, uh, in the last con call, the uh, um, management told that they don't see uh, CNG uh, getting totally replaced by uh, EV in the next 10 to 15 years. But here, you can already understand that there is a uh, understanding among them that there is a, co a competition will be there with EV. And uh, if you ask me that, I think that people are giving more and more uh, uh, importance to EV rather than CNG. So these are the two potential downsides which I have seen. Now, uh, in order to uh, for pair comparison, I have taken Supreme uh, uh, Supreme Industries. Supreme Industries is the closest pair I got. Like it, uh, it sells uh, CNG uh, It it sells uh, L uh, uh, composite cylinders. Then it uh, it sells uh, MOX frames, and it also uh, uh, I found it to, to the closest competitor of uh mm, time now as you can see that uh re both the pet and revenue uh, of uh, supreme industry has grown at a faster rate than 
time. Uh, this is also mainly because of uh, the reason that Supreme products product portfolio is vastly great, uh, is vastly superior in comparison to time. It sells a lot of products in comparison to time. Time sells uh, not, uh, the product portfolio Supreme is many times bigger than time. So this is also one of the reasons. Now the gross margin for both the companies, you can see that uh, they are, it is a quite decent, more than 30%. It is quite decent, like uh, your, um, time was very constant, like 30%. And uh, Supreme has also maintained a gross margin of 35%. Now it has come down a little lower. And now um, for the ROC, uh, you can see uh, that uh, time, uh, uh, that, that time had a very, good ROC, but uh, Supreme, uh, I think I have never done a mistake. It, actually, it should even be in the ROC of Supreme. And, uh, and uh, I have done a mistake. I'm sorry for that. And now if we go to the forensic, the forensic scorecard uh, was quite clean. The only two pr problem which I faced was regarding that the board members, I didn't find any relevant experience. First of all, it was very unusual, unusual for me to see that uh, the uh, it was very unusual for, for me to see that the company didn't provide much information about the board of director in its annual report. Most uh, most of the time, the uh, uh, companies provide a lot of information about the directors. After that, I tried to search them uh, in, in Google. Then I also went into their uh, LinkedIn page. I didn't get much information. So for that board member, apart from only one uh, board member, uh, Sanjay Kulkarni, I didn't find much of them. Uh, like I didn't find much information about them. And second is, is not that much important. Does the company buy from sell promoter? Yeah, they do. Um, they don't buy from seller, but they have a lot of uh, intelligent party who, who are their uh, subsidiaries. And uh, the amount is not that big. It is a little less than uh, it's 10% of the revenue. And I uh, and it is not given much clearly in the annual report. So I have to take uh, a, a little more in this part. So now I am moving to the valuation part. Now, for the valuation part, uh, I have uh, taken, uh, I have uh, divided the uh, total revenue into two parts. One is the sales from established product and another is the sales from the valuated product. Now, in the bull cases, I have assumed that the China plus one trade will continue and the company will be able to grow at at, uh, will will able to grow its stable portfolio at 10% and its value uh, value added portfolio at 15% like uh, it will be maintain its 17% CAGR. I have uh, didn't take it higher because I am uncertain about whether they will get further repeat order of CNG uh, cylinder or not. This is the reason I have not taken a higher number for value. For the base case, I have taken what they used to uh, um, generate uh, uh, in the last seven, eight years. And for, for the value added part, I have taken a slightly conservative number. And for the BR, uh, I have taken uh, the most conservative one. Now, uh, from uh, this, uh, uh, I have found out the total revenue. And for the gross margin, I have uh, taken three cases. One is 35%, 30%, and 25%. Now, the, my uh, rationale behind taking uh, this was because I went to Skinner and I find out that company for the last uh, 10 years uh, has extremely stable gross profit margin. Yet gross profit margin uh, very seldomly dropped below 30%. And uh, currently it is, it, is a, it is slightly below 30%. So uh, for the bear case, uh, bull case, I'm assuming uh, they will be able to increase their gross margin to 30%. For the base case to 30% and for the bear case to 25%. And uh, uh, EBITDA, I have also taken three cases, 15, 12, and 18. The company has said that uh, we are expecting to maintain a margin of EBIT of 15%. So I don't think it will be uh, much more. Uh, it, it will be uh, it will be wise for us to take a bear bull case greater than that. And I have taken uh, the uh, base case and the bear case. Depreciation I have found out using a uh, fixed asset turnover or, uh, technique. Now other income I have taken zero. Finance cost I have taken the last quarter's finance cost and multiplied by 12. Uh, now um, subtracting EBITDA from, fin uh, from 
depreciation and finance cost i get pivot i took the tax rate as 25% and this uh, this is uh, from where i get pet and i uh, then i uh, then i have taken the fair value uh, then, uh, then i have taken the uh, pe to be 12 uh, because i think uh, the market will be little much little cautious regarding uh, the uh, further orders of uh, lp uh, of uh, of LC, of lpg uh, gas cylinders and uh, the number of share i have assumed it will remain the constant and uh, eps has been calculated uh, by uh, the assumption and uh, and this is the return which you can accept from the uh, bull case and with this i end my presentation hello yes yes risha very good presentation i think it was very crisp um and and how uh, much time i take 20 minutes <laughs> no? yeah 20 minutes very nice yeah. yeah i think i think it was very engaging also at least for me others you can uh maybe give some feedback if you found something was very fast or some or those stuff uh Gaurav, go ahead i will discuss uh, the model okay. with rishab after you have done. okay okay so uh one is why is there uh, i mean for example you said that there was a monopoly with respect to cng any idea why is there a monopoly i mean uh reinforcement the, the material that they are making composite plastic these aren't very com i mean uh, from a mode point of view but they you are I talking about cng cascade no mm -hmm, cng cascade why is there a monopoly in any any direction or any idea that the management give no sir the company uh, uh told that they have the monopoly here actually the research analysts themselves say that it, it looks like that you have a monopoly there and i think there are a lack of competition and there is a lot of uh um uh what should i say um uh, entry cost so this is the reason that nobody has entered into this field also also the current uh lpg cylinders that you have those are made of uh, metal right and yeah. i'm not sure how big the market is do you have like uh, product wise you know sales figure in any any sort of well i try to find out regarding the composite uh, cylinder type mm -hmm. what i uh, find uh, what uh, what i what i was able to find to the closest was that there, were, there was an article in a 2023 uh, March 8, in which it said that uh, 4,000 LPG cylinders, uh, means composite LPG cylinders, were sold in Uttar Pradesh. This is the closest to which I get. And after that, I was not able to get uh, what is what was the number of composite cylinder, uh, which has been actually, sir. Uh, it uh, actually the consumer has very less uh, uh, utility regarding a, a, a composite cylinder. For him, it, it doesn't matter that much because the main factor, which is weight, actually this is carried by the delivery man. So it doesn't bother the consumer that much. So for for uh, companies taking it in a truck, there you have some reduction in weight, but I don't think that would be too significant, no? Yeah, I mean, and the you're... second thing is, if 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 it was that significant, then the com then the uh, 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 company IOCL would have done something uh, like it would it it would have taken the step first so but it is saying that you customer that if you want to change your lpg cylinder uh what will be what whatever will be its cost uh, we will subtract it from the cylinder which you first bought or uh, when you yeah. Uh, yeah so if they wanted to change it so they would have given more incentive so also another another part is um, I, I mean the supply chain for iocl because they're vendors right they will not uh, take these items because they make a lot of money uh, from by by kind of telling that these cylinders are broken and they sort of uh, generate a lot of money through that so i'm sure that there would be a lot of resistance from their di distributors also because yeah, metal so. you can you can sell it as scrap and you can generate money but these composite yeah. material they can't we be can recyclable that easily uh, mm -hmm. so you understand what is composite plastic in general so I did a little research, like they do something like with the plastic, with with, with the molecules, they do some stuff and... Okay, so yeah. basically there are different types of plastic. I'll just give the technical explanation. Like, So if you use a shampoo bottle, you will see that it's a it's a harder plastic versus, say, the plastic that you're using in for uh, your polythene bags or your mm. tapas, right? So there mm. are different types of plastic, like PET, HDP, LDP and all. Now, there are two, three methods of doing uh, composite plastic. What you do is you have hard material at the inside or maybe at the outside. So basically, you, you use harder stuff, which is used in, say, buckets, right? Those mm. things you, you use in the outside. And then you have alt alternate layers 
Uh, which is which is thinner plastic. What it does is it it gives that durability from outside. Again, it makes the weight I mean weight reduced, and also it gives the flexibility. So these sort of uh, various type of approaches are taken. Also, uh, in composite plastic, you will see that they will reinforce with many um, molecules. I mean, so it, it yes, could be sir. small nanoparticles and all small small particles. Like when you make a house, right? You will see yes. that stone chips are given inside your uh, cement cement and mm. all you, you give small stone chips you do mm. it so that it reinforces the entire structure right so that cracks don't propagate so in composite plastic also same thing is being done uh, some amount of reinforcement is done and uh, that is how they kind of come to a structure right so mm. so you can't really recycle it i mean recycling is very expensive for composite plastic uh, it's similar to how your tetra pack happens you know this tetra pack for milk there are multiple layers. So there would be one layer of aluminum beside after that, there would be one layer of some buttery uh, sort of a paper. And then there would be some cardboard layer, uh, you know, three, four layers so that uh, it, it gets protected and it becomes tamper proof. So hmm. something on those lines. Yeah. So. OK, yeah, that's from my side. More or less, I'm, I'm pretty OK with the uh, stock. I understood it and probably have to dig deeper. Maybe Nirvan, you can ask your questions. Yeah, so basically my first question is that uh, what is the price difference between a normal steel LPG cylinder and a composite cylinder? So it basically actually the composite cylinder is uh, more expensive than the steel cylinder. So the uh, uh, if you want to replace it, then it will be something your know, net you have to pay like 600, 700 like this if you exchange it with your steel cylinder. 600, 700 only, that's it. Are you sure? Yes, sir. I have seen an, one example like uh, this. Uh, this uh, I I very, I tried very hard to find that one. Uh, mm. That uh, what you asked. So in one of the article in an IOCL article or somewhere, I found that it it, it, it will be something like that. Okay. Uh, so for example, like uh, I don't know if you are involved when the cylinder comes at your house and you pay for it, or maybe you know you know how much. The cost is so the cost of a normal steel cylinder with gas filled in it, LPG filled in it, right now is uh, around maybe eleven fifteen. Yes, okay? sir. I know. So, so um, do you happen to know how much is the cost of the LPG in it, and how much is the no, sir, cylinder? They said that no. you don't. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, fine. So that was one question. Second is so according to you, the only interesting products are LPG cylinder on which. You are saying they are completely dependent on IOCL. So apart hmm. from IOCL, no other oil and marketing company is interested in this. They have, uh, like I said, no. Uh, they are selling this product to forty-one countries, and they have approval in fifty countries. But uh, they have not provided more information about uh, this, uh, how this product is doing in the international market. So if we can okay. know how it is doing, then we can say something like. But are they uh, at least telling? Uh, every year, how how many lakh cylinders have they sold? Any no, such data? No, no, no not available. They are giving the, 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 the data which they have given is basically on the capacity, but not how much they have sold or like that. Okay. The capacity is how much right now, Isha? Sir, it's uh, something like, uh, sir, 2.5 2 minutes, 1 minute, sir. 25 lakh. Okay. Yeah, 25 lakh. So it, it was in my presentation, sir. Okay. I'll I'll check it later. Leave it there. Uh, and for CNG cascade, okay. Yeah. So can you explain, like, why the, why do gas companies or why do like petrol pump companies use cascades? Like, so I want to understand. See, basically, what Gaurav and you were discussing was the major advantage of composite cylinders is that it's lighter than steel cylinder, right? Yeah. So in any use case where cylinders need to be transported multiple times up and down yeah. so composite cylinders over a period of time will break even because every trip they save you some uh, uh, freight cost right yeah so the more you need to transport them the more you will it is better in terms of economics compared to a steel cylinder so i want to understand what is a cascade and mm. how much transport etc does it involve do you understand this so what I basically understand regarding the cascade is that the cascade is used to like transport a CNG from one point to another. Like it can compress a lot of CNG. Uh, like you need a, a different type of uh, cylinder or structure to compress a, a huge amount of uh, gas to it. So 
basically this is what i have understood like this is the use of cng it is basically used uh, for cng pumps like that right or, so what yeah. i want to understand rishab is like cng pump uh, you probably need to i mean this is a question in my mind so we need to find this out right what is the cascade used for how does pump uh, how does gas get delivered to a cng pump first of all i was under the impression it was done through uh, maybe underground uh, pipeline hmm. but if it is done through cascades then it means yeah. that the cascades are taken from the pump to a central say, yes, pumping sir. station and then they are brought back right so that hmm. means every month you can have multiple trips in which case their cylinders become very interesting for this specific application hmm. so maybe do some more work on that on understanding cascades how many trips you know cascades in a petrol pump need Sir, to do i read a report uh, hmm. on um, that cng cascade and it was 2020 report in which i found out that the cascade market in india is something uh, 8 billion rupees like 800 crore or something okay yeah this is the only thing but i like i didn't say it is so low uh, after that i tried to dig some other but i was not able to get more information about the actually sir the uh, most problem regarding any uh, analysis is we are not able to get uh, stats about the market size this is the most greatest hmm. problem which we have that's okay uh, hmm. so market size i understand rishab like we can still try to find out we can try to estimate the number of st- pumps that are there uh, you know cost yeah. of a cascade multiply and all that we can do uh, i think there is some good work already done in Everest Kanto cylinders thread, EKC thread. If you ever check it, but um, my request to you would be if you can find out the uh, logistics of a cascade, like what are the economics of a cascade? How many times will the truck move out, move in in a month? Then we can sort of try to even understand whether this product will actually make a difference there or not. Because like an the- LPG cylinder, like you said, hmm. I also agree with you. Like if it's Way costlier than why will any consumer you know uh, adopt it? And so uh, another thing is that a uh, time and supreme will not be able to generate super normal profit because they mostly have only one seller. That is uh, IOCL. If they get see that they are earning lot huge amount of profit, then we will force okay. them to reduce their prices. Exactly. So there is only one buyer because it is economically right now today not feasible. So IOCL is probably doing some experiments. Yes, if sir. it becomes feasible, then there's no reason that you know all other uh, you know oil marketing companies won't buy. They should buy. Mm-hmm. So we should focus on the economics, the product. You know why it is not working. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now quickly coming to uh, the projections. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, this is the bull case that you're presenting, right? Yes, sir. Ten percent and fifteen percent. So any reason uh, the historical number that you showed was 5% for established and 17% for value right yes from 2016 onwards 2016 onwards so in the in the ba- base case any mm. reason that 6% is close to 5% but mm. you reduce the value growth from 17% to 10% which is a huge drop no sir so any reason to 15 to 10 no no historically it was 17 no yeah 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 So from seventeen, you've reduced it down to ten percent in a base case. Huh. I am curious why why this. So this is because of sir LPG uh, that uh, composite cylinder this one, and second thing was that I was not able to get much information about their end market like CNG casket. I was not, so I was uncertain about that, and and in the bear case I reduced it even further. Okay. Actually, okay. I wanted to reduce it to six percent. Then I said no, let it be eight. Six percent. तो इंडिया का जीडीपी है यार तो मतलब उससे भी अगर नीचे ग्रो करेगा तो ये तो मतलब दैट इज आई आई थिंक दैट मे नॉट बी द राइट एजम्पन ठीक है तो बोल केस में जस्ट क्विकली गोइंग टू द नंबर्स सो एवरी ईयर यू आर सेइंग 2024 रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ इज ओनली 10% सर ओहो सॉरी सर या ओके सो 15% ग्रोथ फॉर 3 इयर्स या and uh, oh ho oh, i did a mistake sir sorry sorry uh, which uh, case you want i want to see the uh, probably can you change the base number from 10% no, no, no sir what happened no sir what you said to 10% this was of established product and for the very weighted product it's 15% okay i have uh, divided this two part this is the first ah, got thing. it yeah got oh, it yes sir so this is for the bull case yeah 
Okay, so ten percent uh, for okay. established and fifteen okay. for uh, value added. Fifteen percent for value added. Okay. okay. So that is total revenue, and then you're saying a uh, thirty-five percent. This is the total revenue. Yeah. So can you change these figures as I ask you to, just so that you know I. Okay, sir. I can. So just make the gross margin thirty-one percent. Sir, uh, which uh, okay thirty. Bull, bull only. Keep it bull. Uh, so thirty-one percent. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Okay, sir. One minute. Thirty-one. Hmm. Sir, change. Okay. And the uh, EBITDA median I checked it was around fifteen percent only. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Uh, okay. Okay. Let it be fifteen percent. So depreciation you've calculated. Uh, so like per, this. Yeah. Yeah. So using fixed asset terms. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 You can go up. Ah. Uh, other income is zero. Okay. Yes. Sir. And. Uh, Finance cost okay stable. So they do they have uh, how much debt do they have on their balance sheet? Eight ninety one crores. Okay. And any guidance regarding the debt? Have they said that they will pay it down or anything? But they like have that? said uh, they uh, they are in the process of selling um, restructuring. They are going to sell their uh, battery division uh, in uh, which is in um, a foreign country. So uh, uh, whatever they are able to generate. Get from hmm. those uh, 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 disinvestment. They are going hmm. to use it to reduce their debt, and they have said uh, they expect to sell those businesses by uh, September two thousand twenty-three. Okay, September two thousand twenty-three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So you are saying you are projecting three hundred and thirty-two crores of PAT, and you are saying the fair value multiple should be twelve. Yeah. So any reason this company has never traded at twelve? Like if I look at medians in history, it has always been around ten, uh, lower than that. Five year, three year median is eleven. Five year median is ten point eight. Ten year median is ten point four. Any so, reason uh, you could uh, understand why this company traded so cheap? Uh, so uh, I mainly think because their product portfolio was very. Uh, small and it was not a like uh, very very uh, high uh, profit uh, high profit ma uh, margin or high growing portfolio. This is the reason they have a very low P. I think. Okay, uh, but they are growing pretty decently. Their their sales growth over last okay yeah sales growth is not very not very good. It's seven what was seven percent? Yeah, seven percent. Yeah, probably because of that. ROC is are decent, not bad. They are yeah. around fifteen percent. last yes. few years have been bad but okay mm -hmm. so you are saying there is a good upside uh, on on these kind of numbers 10% and 15% this is the upside sir yeah. 75% for 2024 if you mm -hmm. wait for 2025 it's, it will it will double and for if you wait for 2020 uh, mm -hmm. 26 uh, it okay. will be 130% can you for make a couple case. of Changes. Last thing, Rishab. Just uh, can you make the uh, growth rate equal to the historical growth rate? So established grows at seven percent, and this one grows at seventeen percent. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, established is at seven percent. Seven percent, just like history, and, and uh, value would be at seventeen percent. Value added grows at seventeen percent. Okay, this is established. I think just manually change the values. Yeah. No, sir, it will take a little. Uh, and sir, uh, it was seventeen. Seventeen percent. No. Hmm. Done, sir. And then come to the pat. Sir, there it is. Uh, uh, did anything change? Yeah, sir. Seventy-two percent, ninety-four, and okay. One twenty percent. Okay, so three twenty six crore pad. So I think earlier it was three thirty two. Okay, so not much difference. All right, Rishab. So basically, you know, I more or less knew this company to the extent uh, that what products they make. But the mm -hmm. question remains, even after hearing your PPT, the question remains like, where is they are guiding for twenty percent ROC by twenty twenty five? Yes, sir. So that kind of ROC and uh, you know uh, growth, etc. Exactly how it will come, it's still not clear because the mm. concerns that you have highlighted were also concerns in my mind. Mm. How will LPG cylinder pick up? What will be the reason for LPG cylinder picking up?
Okay. All right. Thanks. We have enjoyed the presentation. Okay, sir. Yeah. Great. Guys, anybody else has question? Ashutosh, 